Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so I have a passion about hair, absolutely all things hair and predominantly about keeping the thickest, fullest hair possible, creating that optimum scalp environment so we can enjoy great full hair, amazing looking hair, both men and women. Now, who wouldn't want that? It has the power to make us feel on top of the world. And on those days, it has the power to make us feel really quite a little bit self-conscious as though we're having a bad hair day. But what happens when it starts to fall out? What happens when it starts to thin, when it starts to change? We're very, very quick to jump to products, of course, trying to boost thickness, trying to boost that scalp environment to grow thicker, fuller hair. But let's be real. And that's what I'm talking to you about today. Let's be real about hair regrowth. Now, I don't want to be... I don't want to be sort of the the person who brings this whole down from being a positive notion that we can grow thick, huge amounts of hair back because you can achieve hair regrowth. Absolutely, you can. But let's just be real about it, because I do feel that a lot of the products which I try and you'll know from my channel to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I've tried so many and kind of evaluated, reviewed, explored with so many amazing products okay products, great products, and not so great products, all from uh, huge different price ranges, to be quite honest with you. And it really does just goes to show that you don't have to spend the earth to enjoy great hair care and to help your hair if it's thinning or if it's thin or if it's you've got problematic scalp or one thing or another, and you may have a whole host of different issues of your hair and scalp. You can still enjoy great hair. You can still look amazing. As a woman, you can still look stunning, glamorous. And as a man, you can still look really super cool and on point. Absolutely, you really, really can. If you've got thinning hair, it's not the end of the world. You can do so much to combat that and so much to make your hair and to continue enjoying your hair. But as I say, let's be real about hair regrowth. Now, why do I keep saying that? Well, I keep saying that because at the moment I have been reviewing, I'm not going to show you because I'm going to be doing that on a separate clip, but I've been reviewing the Waterman's Hair Growth Tonic and Shampoo and Conditioner. I came across a review after looking on their website and somebody actually said, and I cannot believe this, that somebody actually said in two weeks, yes, 14 days, they managed to grow their hair back with the use of this system. Now, anybody who knows the Waterman's hair care system, it is a really great brand. It is a great brand. It is a, it's an expensive one, I'll be honest. Um, it has a lot of quality, really great ingredients in there to be able to offer the scalp environment to help us grow thicker hair, to be able to recharge that scalp and be able to really boost that growth. So hopefully, fingers crossed, to be able to grow more hair. If you don't know my personal situation, since May this year, we're talking about 2022, I have experienced a lot of hair fall due to stress, due to medical problems, due to just everything coming to a bit of a, a bit of a shot in life, to be quite honest with you. I'm struggling to cope, to be quite honest. But um, I'm getting back up from it. These things make us damn stronger, and they certainly do, and I'm not going to let it beat me at all, so I keep going. But of course, hair takes an effect. So I've got a bit of an area just behind here. That's why what I tend to do now is comb my hair all off to one side. I've got a top knot here and I do it up at the back here. I've got a little bit of a gappy sort of hairline going on at the moment just before, but I've got tricks and tips to be able to mask that and I'm quite happy. But having said that, of course, we're always trying to grow thicker, fuller hair and keep that scalp environment thick and full. The thing what I didn't like when I visited Waterman's website was somebody was proclaiming that they could, they had, sorry, not they could, they had regrown their hair and there was this striking image of a very bold top of the head and then on the two week period it had grown through really thick and full. And that's where I think that we should be, we should really strip everything right back and if we have a problem with our scalp, if we have a problem with our hair and our hair is thinning, okay, let's be rude about hair regrowth. It is not going to be two weeks before you can transform your hair and you will see your hair back to how it was, possibly months, years prior to that. It takes time. It takes time for those products to work. It can be the most expensive product on the market. It will not grow your hair back in such a short time scale. If you think of it like this, 
the amount of time it is noticed that your hair is thinning, so the time you have taken to notice your hair is thinning, you have already started quite quite on your way to those ch those physical changes in your hair. So I think I read a statistic somewhere that it's something like it's something like about 30, 40 percent, okay changes in your normal sort of hair cycle so 30 percent change of that cycle has already occurred before you have even noticed it and in some instances that can be a lot more as well before people actually realize hang on a minute something's happening with my hair now the problem with this of course is that we are present we live in a life of oversaturated sort of media, um, social media, lots of things out there to say, you can have thicker, fuller hair in a second, use this product and you'll grow all your hair back, all of those type of claims. Let's be honest, because of the amount of time, and I mean, you could be honest, couldn't you? You could possibly, I mean, let's be real, you could lose, what, 40% 40, 40 of your hair's density before you truly, before you truly actually know that there is a difference in your hair. If we're honest, I mean, to me, I've got longer length hair and I take it down. It's just over my shoulder, uh, just touching my shoulders and just past that. I lose quite a lot of hair on a day to day basis. I've got fine hair of a lot of it. For me to really notice, it's taken that there's gappy parts in my hairline. OK, and I've got a, a patch area underneath this, this which I've combed over. When you think of it, the density of our hair, that's an awful lot of hair gone before we notice a change. OK, so if you say between 30, possibly even pushing it to about 40 maybe more in some people's percent of density loss so when i say that i mean on a whole scalp 30 percent of it there's a change i don't mean completely gone i mean a change so thinner down your hair perhaps not growing as well perhaps gone into dormancy perhaps it's really really struggling and perhaps a little bit more thinning think about it then you use a product two weeks and you think it's grown back do you and i think that is really catastrophic for a company and I've not even reviewed them yet, to be able to allow that claim to be said. So that's why I'm reaching out to my subscribers and people who view this. Let's be real about hair regrowth. For you to have taken the time to have noticed that there's a change in your scalp, it's probably taken you weeks, humming and hiring, months, and then actually thinking, do you know what? Something's up with my scalp. I need to do something about it. It's never too late. As long as there is a beat to your heart and there's a breath in your body, it's never too late. Follicles, yes, unfortunately, when they go past a certain point, it's very, very difficult to revitalize them into hair growth, how the growth cycle works. However, there is products out there. My favorite go-to products, which I absolutely love from the whole sort of spectrum, cheap to expensive. You've got Stemioxidine by L'Oreal Professional. I absolutely love. I would absolutely wholeheartedly recommend that one just to keep scalp uh, energized and hair follicles awake. Prevention is always better than cure. Use a caffeine-based formula, so such as shampoos, conditioners, treatment sprays. Great, fantastic. Use them. If you're noticing an issue, jump on it straight away. Stomach oxidine on the opposite end. Vitamins, supplements can be another great battle against hair loss as well. Viviscal for men, Viviscal for women, a great supplement. I actually invested an awful lot of money and an awful lot of time in them, um, I think nearly two years ago now. Had a really, really great experience with them. Absolutely love love the supplement hr23 plus again fantastic supplement had real great change about a year ago with them really great the serum denser hair solution by l'oreal professionals i've mentioned stemioxidine that is great it shortens the growth uh the part of the growth cycle where the hair falls out to it starts growing rather than it being a large window it brings that into being a smaller window so then that hair gets going grows much more quicker so theoretically you've got that sort of part of your hair much more fuller thicker so in essence you're seeing fuller hair thicker hair it's being able to grow that much longer because you are stimulating it with some oxidine great product if money is a little bit of a concern and of course with the pressures of everyday living and the cost of living increasing all the time at the moment there are other products and things you can do scalp massage something as simple as massaging your scalp whilst using your shampoo and conditioners can make a tremendous difference of increasing that blood flow to your scalp and then invigorating your scalp so therefore you're going to get stronger thicker hair growth it's not necessarily going to battle against hair fall but it's going to make your scalp 
an optimum, much more stronger environment for hair growth. There's a whole list of different products and ingredients in things which is out there. Something if you want to be natural, rosemary oil is said to be just as effective in some studies as minoxidil on the scalp. I don't know how true that is, of course, and everybody's different. Everybody's different with their own experience of hair fall and hair loss as well. But if it's natural, and I've recently done this as well, for eight pounds, it Holland about here in the UK. So if you can get it around that price, take a few drops of a carrier oil and then really invigorate and rub that through to your scalp. Try it for a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I wonder what the results would be for you. Unfortunately, I'm going through some medical problems at the moment, so I can't I can't kind of have that integral result to be able to report to you just at the moment, but I certainly will be looking at doing that in the future for you as well on my channel. So let's get back to being truthful. Let's get back to that whole integrity essence. When you're looking online for a product which is going to help, help you grow thicker and fuller hair, just be careful. Everything you read is not always truthful. I know you already know that, but let me say it to you. Everything you read online is not true about hair loss. Often, if you are reading something which feels too good to be true in regards to hair, let me tell you, my friend, you are absolutely right. They are false in their claims. Let's put it this way. If we do not have a one-stop shop complete cure for hair loss, how on earth do they have the cure online at sometimes a pathetically stupid price. There are products out there to be able to stimulate growth, to be able to revitalize the scalp. There is not a cure for hair loss. There are products which can help treat and inhibit, slow down the process, can even help grow thicker, fuller hair, can even help grow and reverse that cycle. But in terms of androlic alopecia, which is related to male pattern baldness, female uh, pattern thinning, those type of things, there is not a cure, but there are products, measures we can use to help grow and control that issue. And as long as we're prepared to do that, and whether that be the cost implications or the physical things we have to do as well, or the financial attributes, which we have to do as well to stay on top of that, then as long as we understand that and you're in a mutual understanding that you do, then fantastic. You can keep coming back at that and you can keep enjoying great hair growth. There is a whole host of products out there to choose from. But two week period, you're not going to grow your hair back. Now, let's turn to something which is licensed. There are products which are licensed to treat hair loss in both men and women. Minoxidil, to treat, not cure, by the way. So there is never going to be a product or a tablet or a supplement which you can take and your hair loss concerns are completely gone away. From licensed products, here in the UK, America, in the Western world, there are products which you can choose to use. Here in the UK, monoxidil is a very big thing. You can have a topical application, so you can use a foam. I know there's a spray. There's also a tablet men can take. Men can take, bearing in mind, not women. Finasteroid. You can have monoxidil of 5% for men, and you can have a uh, monoxidil uh, a foam topical application product for women at 2%. Always, always seek the advice of your family doctor, a dermatologist, because they will be the person to lead you, to guide you, to assist you with. Okay? Bearing in mind that hair loss is not cured, it is controlled, there are things you can do. So if you're sat there thinking, oh, I just need to do something about my hair loss, you can. Don't sit there in demise and despair. You can. If you've got longer length hair and your hair is starting to thin, thinning, if you've just and just started it, jump to it straight away because prevention is better than cure. The quicker you jump on a problem, the more ability you hold it being able to control the problem. If you're sat there and you've got the, the whole top of your head is bald and you've got hair around the sides, it's very, 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 very difficult for you then to be able to want to and to achieve results from hair loss because those follicles have been in dormancy so long and if they have died and they're not producing hair follicles anymore, I'll be very honest with you, you cannot retrieve your hair. Prevention is better than cure. And if you see something online where the person is completely bald and they've got hair around the sides here and they've been able to grow a full head of hair, let me tell you, my friend, they are absolutely lying. So let's be real about hair growth. Hair growth, regrowth, takes months rather than weeks. 
Let me tell you something, if you try a new supplement, a new shampoo, or a treatment spray, or what have you, you need to allow three months. It is a 12-week period, a three-month period, where you need to give that product time. Because let me tell you something, what a lot of people don't realize is when you start a hair growth product or a treatment or a new shampoo or conditioner, you can, for a small window, potentially lose even more hair. Because your follicles are going through that stage, those invigorating ingredients are shaking up the system, to be quite honest with you. And what might happen is those old hair follicles, those sort of deteriorating follicles, those affected hair follicles by possibly buildup of product, maybe excess of oil, dead skin cells, products you may have used which have been suffocating the cell, they will fall away. So you may see more hair fall. Unfortunately, First of all, the stick with the treatment for up to three weeks. Of course, if you see scalp irritation, that type of thing, redness, soreness, uncomfortable, and lots of hair loss, then stop. But initially, you may well, not everybody, but you may well, and that's what's difficult. Everybody's experience of hair fall is different. So somebody may lose a lot of hair when using a new product. Somebody else might not use none. But they are still following the same pattern of making their hair and their scalp environment optimum, healthy, and stronger, thicker, fuller. Okay, so keep with me on this, and then eventually you go through that stage of losing more, then of course you're getting that new invigorated growth come through. This is particularly with hair supplements, by the way, as well. And even if you're going to use minoxidil and those type of products too, you can lose, or the shedding process can excel heavily, and then you'll start to renew and revitalize the scalp with new growth, revitalized follicles, more armored follicles against hair fall, and it will become thicker, stronger, and fuller. So you won't or may not, because, of course, if you've got hair loss due to health problems, once you've sorted out those health problems in the body, your hair will grow back. Amazing. But if you've got something like androidic alopecia, female pattern related uh, thinning and for male pattern baldness, then you can control it. You can hold on to your hair as long as you're willing to do something about it. Do not ever believe miracle cures, because you know what? If... As a whole global society, we haven't found one yet. There isn't a cure for hair loss. Why is a little offer what's screaming out to you online at half past 11 at night on probably a Wednesday once you've had a busy day so you're a little bit more vulnerable to it? Why is it going to cure your hair loss? Let's be real about hair regrowth. I hope this clip has really helped you. Hair and hair growth, the hair growth cycle, is such an interest and a passion to mine for both men and a woman's hair. As I said, if you've got the thinnest, finest, finest hair, you can still help your hair, help your scalp grow thicker, fuller, stronger, and work for you. And at the end of the day, thin, thinning hair can still be ultra amazing. So if you're sat there thinking, my hair is so, so thin and fine, I feel awful. Swing your back up, smile, because you are still you, you're still that incredible person, okay? And your hair is just a little tribute to the amazing person you are. And thin, thinning hair can still be just as amazing and beautiful and glamorous on a lady if styled correctly, and can be super cool, smart, and on point for a guy as well. Okay, so from my heart to yours, thank you very much for being here. God bless, take great care. And until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. And don't forget, if you'd like a little bit more information, if you'd like to explore my knowledge or ask me a question, please, please feel free to do so. Thank you, God bless, and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.